Hello everyone, here we go. Day 28 of our two months reading plan of Mark. Today is Mark 8, the feeding of the 4,000. Now, don't get confused. Jesus did feed 5,000 in the Jewish area, but this is feeding 4,000 in the non-Jewish area. That's why this is such a different story. It happened twice. You ready? We're going to read Mark 8 verse 1. During those days when Jesus was in Decapolis, the outside Israel, another large crowd gathered. Since they had nothing to eat. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way because some of them have come a long distance. And his disciples answered, but where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. And when he had taken the seven loaves and given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to set before the people, and they did so. They had a few small fish as well. He gave thanks for them and also told the disciples to distribute them. The people ate and were satisfied. Afterwards, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. About 4,000 men were present, and having sent them away, he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the region of Dalmanutha. You know what? This is another here. This is another reproducing miracle. And I have to start saying we've got to get used to believing for miracles, not one or two miracles in my life. Salvation, some healing, some blessing, some moments. I've got to believe for more. I believe there's more for me and for other people. So the my thought today, I'm going to pray for a heart to believe for repeating and more miracles. You ready? Here we go. Lord, I pray as a believer. I'm going to believe not just one miracle or two, but repeating miracles for me and for other people in our connect groups, in our church, in our family. Repeated, repeating miracles over and over. You can do it again. I pray we'd have a heart to pull up faith again from more fresh miracles in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. And my thought today would be I'm believing for repeated miracles today in Jesus name. And I pray that you would pray with that heart of faith for you and your family and your lives too. God bless you.